Hey guys, how you doing? Oscar here from PoppyDaddy.com. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial that will help you make some money with your blog without a lot of effort. If you come here from the blog post, then you know what the whole setup is. So for those of you that are just watching this for the first time, let me explain. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom of my blog post, or my blog, there's a footer here that says copyright the year then there's a link that goes to the theme and a link that goes to the Genesis framework and one that goes to studio press plus the WordPress one I've already explained in the blog post why this is not ideal there's there's uh, more information about all that in the description of the video what I'm going to show you right now is how to change this so that you can actually make money on your blog so go ahead and log into your blog just go back to the dashboard once you're back in the dashboard, you're going to go and install a plugin called Genesis Simple Edits. The links are all in the blog post, so just go through the description and get all the information. Once you install the plugin, you're going to have an option here that says Simple Edits under your Genesis menu. So click on that. Now I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to change the theme, the footer. So for that, I'm going to open up a second tab. So you can see here, I have the front end of the website here, and then I have the back end here. So, by the way, simple simple edits, Genesis simple edits allows you to change um, areas of Genesis, not just the footer. But we're just going to work on the footer today. It's very simple. If you notice this spot here, this represents the same part that we see all the way down here in the bottom. Let me explain. You see how this says right here, copyright? If we go in here and say, hello, hello, copyright, and we say save settings. When we, re when we refresh the page over here, we will see the word hello down here. Well, maybe if we have our cache that isn't clear. Okay, I forgot to check this box. So. See this box here? We want to check that box and click on save. That's going to make sure that this takes effect. This is just here for demonstration purposes until you make that change. So if we click on this again, we may need to open up. So there you go. Now we see hello and the copyright. So the whole purpose of changing this theme is for you to put special links in here that will give you some money when people click on them. Currently, if somebody clicks on this, they go away from your website and you don't get any credit for that click. We're going to change that. First, we need to identify that. And the first thing that we need to do is find out where the copyright is. So now you know that part is copyright. The only parts that you need to change are, I'm going to highlight them right here, is this part here. So from the copyright to this last part right here that says footer logging out. If you notice these boxes here that start with a bracket and close with a bracket, those are special Genesis codes. And we're going to replace them for now with something completely different. So our theme down here is going to look um, the same, but the links are going to be different. And I'm going to replicate it first and then explain to you um, how to modify it. By the way, all the information for this is also available on the blog post. So you can go and download a text file that has all this for you. All you have to do is replace your links with the ones or replace the links that are there with yours. So you don't even have to really watch this. Just copy and paste. Okay, so we've made the changes that we wanted. So let me ignore this. Um, So you can go ahead and modify the theme as much or as little as you want. But for our purposes, we have replaced the links that we wanted. I'm going to show you that. I've just saved it. And then we're going to refresh this page over here. And notice that it doesn't, it doesn't look too different than it did before. But now, when I mouse over it, notice on the left hand side of the browser corner, the link doesn't go directly to the Metro Pro theme page anymore. It goes to my special link. The Genesis one, same thing. 
and Studio Press does the same thing. By the way, I just noticed there's a mistake here. Before, it made sense to have these dots there because that was a separator, but now I have this more of a sentence, so I'm going to go in and delete those dots. Just like this. Okay, and one more over here. So that should make it look more like a readable sentence. If you wish, at this point, you can also remove the return to top page, and I deleted the logout here. So that's up to you. You can customize it. You can put a logo down here. You can put an image, more links, whatever you want. So click on save one more time and that will do it for uh, changing the footer. So that pretty much concludes the tutorial. Very, very simple, very easy to do. Again, look in the description for YouTube for all the links for more detail about why we do this and some of the background for this. But thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, if you'd like to see any other tutorials, please go to the blog poppydaddy.com and let me know or just leave me a comment here and ask me a question. Be happy to help you. Talk to you soon. Bye.